And we are back. And we just finished watching 1951's A Christmas Carol, a film which someone at this table says is the definitive Christmas Carol. This is from 1951 again. It's rated TV PG and has a runtime of one hour and 26 minutes. This comes to us from director Brian Desmond Hurst from writer... Charles Dickens for the original uh, source material and Noel Langley. In this version of the classic Dickens story, Ebenezer Scrooge, played by Alistair Sims, we see him as this old curmudgeon who's just miserable and pretty much sucks the air out of every room he's in, who then has a visit from an old business partner from beyond the grave and then is visited by the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and of the future. I'm going to go around the table and get impressions. I'm going to start with you since you have such a high opinion of this film. Go ahead. This is the the version of it that I grew up watching. It was always put on during Christmas when I was a kid, and this is the best version of A Christmas Carol. What? Alistair Sims is the best Scrooge. What makes this the best version? Alistair Sims. What What about his he, performance? He was mean and horrible throughout 90% of the movie, and then his turnaround at the end is just masterfully done. He is crazy looking. Yeah, that's true. He looks like a his hair is all frizzy and messed up, and he just goes from being this grumpy old man screaming bah humbug about everything and he delivers that very well Mm -hmm. more so than i've seen in any other performance what about guy pierce oh god don't even mention (laughs) that that was the worst version that was the worst version of christmas carol yeah (sighs) (laughs) rapist uh yeah but yeah this is the best version all right I, i like the way it looks uh, the, the cinematography the, the, the on cinematography, this is the, on I mean, point. It, it's it's an old film. The grainy black and white really adds to it. Um, everybody's costuming is right. Everything mm-hmm. looks Dickensian. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Bob Cratchit looks suitably pathetic. Yes, his wife looks like she will body slam Scrooge if she got the chance. Yeah, yeah. The ghosts look good. Yeah, everything's perfect. And uh, one thing I do like about this more than others is a lot of them skip a lot of Scrooge's past. It's mm-hmm. sort of like, I don't know what's going on, but they... Because I think they, they want to focus about on stuff. other like, stuff. Like, yeah. They never mention Alice. Yeah. You never see that part of his life. They rarely mention the sister. Mm-hmm. It's just sort of like, oh, there, he has a nephew. Yeah. They never mention why he's not really close with his nephew. Right, right. You you never see that in the in the more modern retellings. Remember, that's like we're just sort of the Guy Pierce one. Yeah, you know about like Fred, was, but you don't know there. about the rest yeah. of them. Yeah, and we were like, oh, is that the guy from the Terror? Yeah. <laughs> and then it was funny because it doesn't even show up on the IMDb page. Yeah. He must be super embarrassed about that yeah. that production. <laughs> what do you think makes this one timeless? Or I mean, it's just this the story of the Christmas Carol. It's, Mm -hmm. it's been done to death, but this is probably in my mind, the best rendition of it. But what about this, the story itself? What about the idea of someone who has basically lost his humanity, right? Mm -hmm. And then finds it and then changes. Like what, what is it about that story? Do you think that endures? I mean, it's sort of kind of like there's a lot of truth to that. If I think a lot of people are just pricks because they're just closed minded and, and uh, they live in this sort of like insulated little world. But if you actually got to see other things outside of what you normally see, you, your mind becomes more expanded mm-hmm. and you become you just become a better, well-rounded person, mm-hmm. less it's like what the what that guy said when he opens the robe and those those two weird kids. Mm-hmm. It's like this is ignorance and want, want, but watch out for ignorance. Ignorance, right? That's the way more dangerous one. I mean, I feel like that's a lesson to be learned across the board. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's it's a it's a lesson that is important today as it was back then. Yeah, don't be ignorant. Ignorant people are they're more likely to be the ones who are just like let's just kill all the immigrants. That sort of thing. Yeah. Expand your expand your worldview. Go 
travel someplace. Go talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to. Yeah, yeah. Olivia, what do you think of this film? Oh, I fell asleep. You fell asleep. But if you saw it once, you, you've seen it all, so... So what? what do you, so so tell me the story. Like, what do you think? Not really having watched this film, what do you think of the story of Ebenezer Scrooge? I mean, Ebenezer's like okay, like he's a jerk at the beginning, but then he becomes like a, a nice man. So yeah. He's okay. Do you think there's? Do you think that somebody could learn a lesson from this film? Probably. What What do you think that lesson would be? Um, treat others with kindness. I think that's a good lesson, yeah. Not just at Christmas, but at always. Uh, I was going to ask you if you had a favorite character, but since you didn't watch the movie in its entirety, I'm going to I'm gonna skip it. I'm going to go to you, G. What did you think of this film? I thought it was funny. I enjoyed Scrooge's character. Yeah? What, what, what about him did you enjoy? Um, like Dad, I enjoyed the fact that he was just a jerk. He was funny. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to be born at that time. Oh, my God, no. Yeah. It's filthy back then. Yeah. Dying at, like, age three. I'm surprised Scrooge was as old as, as, old he, as he was, to be yeah. honest. Didn't they show her, like, once a week back then? Maybe even <laughs> if less. that. Yeah. I remember yeah. there was, like, some queen back in the... I'm sure this was before the time of A Christmas Carol, but have you, you guys have heard of that queen that took, like, two baths in her whole life? life? <laughs> like, Nasty. imagine the hair grease on that. Like, ooh. Uh. And, like, they had those Every- giant dresses and there was poop all over, like, the bottoms because they were going in the buckets. Oh, and there was yeah. no proper there wasn't plumbing. Really, yeah, there wasn't really any sewer systems or Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I would never, ever want to be born back then. Never. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing nice about that time, right? Well, the, I mean, she's talking about, t- like, before Scrooge. I mean, it wasn't pleasant during Scrooge's time either. Right. right? I mean, you're pretty much breathing in 90% coal dust. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah. But, well, yeah. they didn't know that that was, like, but murder I think, I, all I, along. I think, I think at least back then they had some kind of indoor plumbing. I don't know. Did they? Did they? During, the, like, the Industrial Revolution there? Isn't oh, this yeah. before? I don't know. What I mean, they may have had chamber pots and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> So if they had chamber pods, they sure as crap did not have. I'm betting Scrooge had a a toilet. Maybe they had wells and stuff like that, but I don't think that they had indoor plumbing. It took place in England sometime in the early 1840s. Yeah, I don't think 1840s. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they they had running water. Did they? Yeah. What scene okay, was so they did have indoor plumbing, early 1800s. So I guess they weren't all musty and disgusting. I'm sure Bob Cratch's house didn't have any indoor plumbing. Well, Maybe Fred's I mean, house and Scrooge's house. But I had it back then. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm sure that uh, people higher up were getting more clean than like Bob Cratch. Sure. Yeah, I, I mean, know it, Bob I'm, I'm sure it must have been a family smelled disgusting. <laughs> Probably. I mean, you saw how that kid was hugging up on that dead goose. <laughs> Yeah, no, he was, turkey. turkey. He was no, it was a goose. It, was a goose. it like yeah. baby style, like yeah. whisper, he was like a whisper in it. It was ear. like he was in love with the damn Salmonella thing. core. <laughs> yeah, seriously. The goose is probably the best smelling person in that house. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh my goodness. The most fresh thing there. Yeah. We have Cat with us tonight. Hi, Cat. Hi. <laughs> have you ever watched another version of the Christmas Carol before? No. Ah, so this would be your first time. What did you think of the film? I almost fell asleep. Scrooge is a diaper head. <laughs> Fair enough. They should have jumped him at the end of the movie. <laughs> I don't know why they were all okay with him. But, like, at the end, he has, like, that kind of arc, I guess. It's in the span of one night. Yeah. But, like, you saw, like, Tiny Tim was, like, forgave him immediately. Or he got all, like, speaking. That's because down. Tiny Tim is a beta male. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, he's like a little kid. He doesn't know any better. He's oh, he like a seven-year-old or something. Yeah. I think he's like. I think he's just like this guy's got money. I want to be nice to him. Oh yeah, he's probably trying to get in that will. After he gets written in there, it's like, all right, I'm gonna hire a hit on this guy. Exactly. Gonna pay him back for all the, the suffering wife, put his dad. Through. The wife wanted to punt this guy so bad. That's true. 
She did. She was. I like the. I liked his wife because she was like no nonsense type. While Bob Cratchit was getting like walked all over. Exactly. He should not have let that slide. But he's a good man in his heart. Yeah. He's soft. Bob Mom. Cratchit was a good character. I like that, and um, I'm glad that Tiny Tim survived and became strong. Um, the the future where he wasn't around was really sad. Yeah. Yeah. No one wants to outlive their children. That's for sure. Yeah. No. Um, Didn't Bob Cratchit have like three other kids. It's, What's it's wrong still with you? Your child. <laughs> oh my not god! Tiny, you <laughs> oh my god! You think that just if one child dies, like oh, we have another one? Yeah, no. <laughs> What's your problem? I mean, crazy. That kid true. was never right anyway. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <sighs> that kid had bird written all over him. Uh, I'm gonna go around the table and get numbers, but before I do. I'm going to start with me and go around the table and we're going to post this tonight and we are getting into the Christmas season, the season for being grateful and joy and for this, all the good things that come into our lives and the reason for the season being the birth of Christ as a lapsed Catholic. I uh, don't go to church like I used to, but I still keep a lot of traditions in my heart. And I want to take a moment to thank all the people in my life, everybody, my family, my friends, everybody that makes this journey just an amazing experience. Um, to my fabulous children, I couldn't dream of better. To my wonderful husband, I hit lotto. To my work family, to Kate, to KT, to Christina D, to Sabina, to David Z and Serge. And I'm sorry if I'm missing more people, but you know, oh, Rashima and Shay and Joanne D and DK. I love all you guys. Thank you for being part of this journey. To my other family, my friends that I've made in life, to Aunt Erica and Uncle Mike, to Uncle Jay, to Uncle Leo and Kevin, to my sister Stephanie, to all you people, just thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of this journey. I love you all and wish you an abundance of blessings at this holiday and the best in the new year. Olive G, what are you grateful for? I should have a jar on that. It was a... Uh Fluffy animals, bread, um, bread, people, um, candy, uh, these drugs. are all the things that you're, yeah, grateful so, for. Uh, family, uh, look at how far down the list we got. Uh, yeah, wow. Uh, uh I, I forgot the rest. It's like <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream should be um, higher on the list, by the way. They didn't have an order, mommy. All right. The thing has order. Okay. okay. Five more things I put there. I forgot. How about Greyjoy? Um, so I've already put fluffy animals. Oh. All right. That seems like a good list. Gigi, what are you grateful at this holiday season? I'm grateful for my family and my friends, like Kat. Aw. What about your... Oh, I'm so grateful for my beautiful new trumpet. I'm so, <laughs> so, 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 so grateful for that. Wow. Well, it's a good thing that you were good this year. Otherwise, Santa would not have bought you. Okay. Um, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try making convincing? I was literally there when it was purchased. You got to believe to receive. Are you trying to gaslight me right now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> you got to believe to receive. Mm-mm. What are you saying? I'm saying you gotta believe in Santa to get Christmas presents. You know she that. She was there. She wasn't there. Yes, she, she was. It was all a dream. Like that what is wrong? Star Trek show. This is crazy. More gaslighting. Yeah, they tried to brainwash me. Mm-mm-mm. It's like a cult in here. Just like exactly. how blame everybody on stuff that you did. Like what? Like burping really loud <laughs> and farting really loud. <laughs> I'm not the farter in this family. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did that one time. I have, but I don't, not like other people. And also gaslighting dad, saying that he's horrible, (laughs) like he's mean to you. Yeah. 
And also terrible. gaslighting us terrible. sometimes. I don't know. I forgot some of the things. Mom's the said. true villain here. <laughs> I love how I have this reputation, yet you don't remember all the bad <laughs> things that I've done. Listen, Mom, I'm sleepy. Okay? I know. I can see that. What about you, Kat? You happy for anything this year? I'm happy for money. I'm happy for my family. I'm happy for food. And I'm happy for my fat little dog. Oh, Shout out to fat little dogs everywhere. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> fat little dogs. My family, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Um, that I'm still employed. Amen to that. I'm able to afford all the stuff that we need. Or want. And all the stuff pretty much everybody else wants. <laughs> 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 I don't really get much stuff for myself. Uh, yeah. You, especially. I know. Uh, you hit lottery with me. I sure as hell did. You were tons of fun. I sure am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Alistair Sims' performance oh, the God. greatest rendition of A Christmas Carol committed to It's film. just okay. You're full of crap. It's just okay. It's the best one. All right. It's I'm going to start with you. One. one to ten. I would give this a nine. A nine. I think yes. you're being over generous. I'm being extremely generous. <laughs> I'm glad that you admit yes, to it. Yes, but it's a, it's a Christmas classic. And if you're going to watch one of them, watch this one. Don't we'll watch the Guy Pierce one. What? It, what? Yes, absolutely. What don't watch Christmas Carol. This is, this is better so than Muppets Christmas good. Carol. What? Yeah, but it's in color and the There's, audio is uh, in. You gotta get. You gotta out. stop being prejudiced against black and white. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. Why is the audio doing crap racist. out when we watch it? <laughs> why you gotta be racist? <laughs> what about Alistair Sims' performance in the seventy-one movie. Christmas Carol? That's only twenty-five minutes. I have no idea what you're talking about. That was the one that was on the flex that I, it was the animated one. Oh, the cartoon? He actually does the voice. I thought it sounded familiar. Mm-hmm. Did they just take the dialogue from the movie? I, well, obviously it's pared down because it's only a 25 minute film, but mm. yeah. They I think just, they, they I just, didn't get to watch the whole thing, but. Well, look at that. It was so good. They had to do it again. Animated. Was that it? Or was it just like, oh, maybe we should try to make this better? No. It was just, listen to this guy's voice is Scrooge's voice. I feel like Monty Woolley has a better voice. I can't imagine Monty Woolley being Scrooge. I can't imagine him being Scrooge. Maybe the ghost of Christmas present? Kind of big and bombastic. He's got to be like a sarcastic bitch, though. Yeah, I'm not. Well, (laughs) yes, obviously. He can't play that straight. I can't, yeah. Maybe in a more modern retelling. But then again, Monty Woolley's dead. He's dead, dead. Yeah. yeah. So well, I guess we missed out. Oh, well. I, I would have liked to have seen one. Brian Blessed do. Brian Blessed. Oh, was he in the George C. Scott one? I don't know. I, I barely I recall the George C. Scott one. I know it ran on Channel 2. It was like a little mini series. Wasn't it like two nights maybe? I don't remember. But I remember yeah. seeing it and liking it a lot. I remember there was one with Henry Winkler that was absolutely There was one terrible. with Henry. Yes. It is awful. There was one with Henry Winkler, which is so weird. You think of the Fonz as Ebenezer. I, th- I think I think he was trying to like I'm not the Fonz. Stop stop because honestly, he was the Fonz is so ingrained in my mind that when I think about the Henry Winkler Christmas Carol, I have to really search my mind because I swear he's riding a motorcycle. <laughs> he's not a dentist with two awful children. Isn't he? A, or no, he's a gynecologist, right? Oh, no. Yeah, gynecologist. No, he's a he's a dentist, right? No, he's a gyno. Because oh, why doesn't he right? get a... He was That's at right. the hospital with Anne, right? When she was pregnant yeah, with her yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kat, what did you think? One to ten. What would you give this film? 6.9. Would have been a seven if Scrooge got beat up at the end. Fair enough. I'll allow it. G. Um, I'll give it a seven. Because, yeah. Olive, one to ten. This made you sleepy, so I don't expect zero. a high score. I don't think it's a no. zero. I don't expect a high score, but I don't also expect um, a zero. Come on. She slept through most of it. How could she even judge it? That's true. All right. I did, I could just, give it, just give it a five for, like, neutrality. neutrality? I, I couldn't make it right. past the first ghost Crazy. before I died. Crazy. You're stinky. All right. So I guess we'll pass over you. 
And uh, I'm going to give it a seven. I think it was good. I think maybe you gassed it too much. I'm like. You're just being argumentative. No, I'm not being, being argumentative. argumentative. I'm not being argumentative. Argumentative is a word. What? Are you serious <laughs> right now? Oh. It's argument. Right? Argumentative <laughs> is a word. <laughs> yeah. go, back, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, all. Yeah. This is like when someone said that then wasn't a word. Like, I'll see you then. Someone really? said that wasn't a word. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, that uh, person's an idiot. Yes. Yes. I'm, yeah, I'm going to give this a seven. I think it's idiot. strong. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I really, you know what? I think for next year, for Christmas, we should just go through a whole month of Christmas carols and just see what see other, how they, see how they stack see up. See how they stack another. up. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, she's, the kids look excited for yeah, that. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, so from Wait, what are we doing? What? What are we doing? We're going to do a whole bunch of Christmas carols for next December. Just only Christmas carols. Oh, okay. Yeah. So from our family to yours, we wish you an abundance of joy and peace and happiness and all the best today on Christmas and in the coming new year. And that's it from us. And we will bid you all a eh? good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Kat, for stopping by. We love you. Love to be here. <laughs> and that's it from us, and we will bid you all a good night.